you know, growing up in Illinois, and, and from what I've read, you did not come from a family of lawyers. What what influenced your decision to to become an attorney? I came from a family of a uh, family of six. I was the oldest of four children, and um, so it was um, in terms of you know in terms of making that decision it was really challenging. Uh, uh, my dad managed a car wash. Uh, you know, my mom, uh, you know, was uh, was busy uh, raising four kids. And uh, I didn't have any lawyers in my family, so I didn't really know what a lawyer is supposed to be doing or what a lawyer does. Um, and so um, what led me in that direction was I just naturally was attracted to uh, courses of study that kind of led into that law direction. And so, um, you know, so that was basically uh, what led me, you know, in, in that direction. But even then, it was challenging because growing up in Illinois, um, you know, we're having this conversation in Georgia. Um, I had not studied any, anything in Georgia. And so I just graduated, packed all my earthly belongings in the back of my 1984 Chevy Chevette subcompact vehicle, drove on down here and, uh, basically just put my shingle out. And, um, you know, one of the great, um, I guess one of the ways that I see life in terms of my life view, Michael, is I think a lot, I see a lot of the disadvantages as really advantages in the end. And a lot of the advantages can, can sometimes be disadvantages if not used properly. Um, but anyway, you know, like I said, I came down here and it was uh, ha- not having studied law, not having really knowing everything, just a perfect example of someone that was starting from ground zero, which was exactly the way I, I wanted to be because I thought there's no better time to fail. You know, I joke and and say, you know, if I'd lost everything I owned, I'd only be out about 15 bucks at the time. I had the advantage that there was no order of difficulty because it was all difficult. So I just did every kind of law there was. Uh, I I tried my first jury trial six months after being sworn in um, and just throwing myself into it. And so, um, and, and, you know, and then narrowing the practice to personal injury over time. And, you know, it's just surrounding myself with, um, you know, with a lot of people that are, were really very positive influences and, you know, and, and help me grow, become a better person and grow into the person that I am today. So when you did hang up your shingle, I mean, in, in the early days, I'm curious as to what day one was like and just in the sense of, because I know when, when people talk about the fact that like, look, I started from nothing. Um, what was that like? I mean, just what were those early days like? What was, you know, what, what did the day to day look like? So day one looked like this. It, it looked like uh, signing a 12-month office lease, uh, having no clients. And, uh, you know, people were saying, boy, congratulations, that's great. And I was like, okay, well, um, all right, well, I guess we better get to work in terms of, you know, clients and, and everything else. And, uh, you know, it was all new. It was all, uh, it was all a great lesson, uh, all of it. But you, get, you just get used to it after a while. Uh, you get used to it. Richard Branson tells this, um, this story of when he would, would have his wife, he'd be like, hey, honey, go ahead, sign this paper. And she'd be like, what is this? What am I signing? Oh, it just means if this venture doesn't work out, we lose the house and everything we own. And so, you know, after a while, just like you, you know, you build up your muscles at the gym, you build up your risk tolerance and you get kind of used to it. 